In video four, we will demonstrate primary and secondary non-base stealing leads at first base, second base, and at third. Now you have to concentrate on four things before you break contact with the bag in order to establish your primary lead. Number one, you want to visually follow the ball back from the play to the pitcher on the dirt part of the mound. Number two, you want to acknowledge the out. Number three, check your third base coach for a possible sign. Number four, you want to check the defensive alignment of both infielders and outfielders. The technique for establishing our primary lead is a left, right, shuffle, shuffle, step. The alignment is the, an imaginary line from the back edge of first base to the back edge of second base, establishing an athletic position in a balanced pose. At this point, should a pickoff attempt occur, the runner has two optional techniques getting back to the base safely. The first would be a crossover and three steps. The second technique would be a crossover and two steps. Either technique is fine. It's going to be based on the individual athleticism of the player. Should a pickoff attempt not occur, and the pitcher, in fact, delivers his pitch to home, the runner now has to establish a secondary lead. This is done by two shuffles with the right foot of the second shuffle coming down to the ground as the pitch enters the contact zone at the plate. That concludes video number four. Let's go down to second base now and talk about primary and secondary leads with no outs, one out, two outs, and also refresh on ground ball rules at second.